Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Glare, and for today's video, I'll be sharing some important stuff that you guys need to do right after you get your PJWP document. If you guys came from my PJWP series, such as how to apply for your PJWP, how I got my PJWP, how to fill up your IMM 5710, welcome back. So this is such an important step for you guys to do right after you get your PJWP. But before I say anything else, congratulations and good luck to your applications. Okay, so without further ado, let's begin. So the first one that you guys have to do right away is to update your SIN number. So basically by this time, you should be familiar what a SIN number is. So it is what's called a social insurance number. It's a nine digit number that you need to be able to work here in Canada or to have access in any government benefits or programs. So initially when you were a student, you had this SIN number, but the expiration date for that initial SIN number that you guys have was tied up to your study permit expiration date. So by the time that you apply for your PJWP, that was already expired. So now you need a new one. But basically the nine digit number or the number that you had before, it's not gonna change. It's just you have to update the expiration date. <laughs> so there are three ways for you guys to do that. I'm not gonna go in depth about it, but I could make a video about that if I did. Just check out the description box below for more information. Okay, so basically there are three ways, right? So the first one is to apply in person at any Service Canada place. Just make sure to bring your original copy of your document and not the photocopy one because I have done that before and it was not good. It was not good because I had to go back to my place and then just line up again. So basically bring your original document with you. Second one though, and the most recommended one right now is to apply online. So here is the link for that one and also I will be linking that on the description box below so don't worry. You have to fill up this basic information, um, nothing that you haven't come across before, to submit some relevant documents such as primary documents, supporting documents, proof of address, and other things that could apply to you. But basically what I submitted was my PGWP document as my primary document, the second supporting document, ooh, I think I submitted my passport or any Canadian um, issued ID. The third one, proof of address. I used my bank statement which has my address on it. But yeah, basically that's it. And then I had to upload everything electronically and then after 10 to 15 days, um, I received my updated SIM number information through mail. So, so the third and least recommended is to apply by mail. So everything, I will be linking that in the description box below for you guys to follow any instructions. So the second one that you have to do is to apply for your TRV. Now, TRV is called um, Temporary Resident Visa. Basically, this is a document that you guys uh, can see on your passport that lets you admit to Canada. Basically, the PGWP document lets you work here in Canada, but if you don't have the TRV, if you decided to maybe visit the Philippines or your home country after you get your PGWP and you decided to come back here in Canada, you won't be able to enter without that TRV. So if I were you, I mean, it's not really necessary for you to apply it. Like just in case you decided to go out of Canada and you wanted to come back, you need that TRV. So this one as well, I will be making a video tutorial on how to apply for a TRV. So look out for that. Everything will be on the description box below. So actually I applied right after I got my PJWP document last February. So I applied right away for my TRV because I wanted really to visit the Philippines. But then I'm not sure what happened. Um, up until now, it's still in process so i haven't really gotten any TRV yet so even if i have my pgwp right now i could go out of the country but there's no way i could come back because i don't have the TRV if that makes sense so yeah <laughs> okay so the last but not the least that you guys have to do is to update your msp card so also the same thing with sin number and your TRV, the expiration on your MSP card is the same as your first primary document, which was your study permit. So if your study permit expired already, then most likely your MSP is already expired as well, like the card. So basically what you have to do though is just log into your MSP portal account and then request for a MSP account change request. And that I will be linking on the description box below everything. So that's just about it for this video. If you guys are not residing on BC, you're probably not familiar with MSP. Um, if you're residing in Ontario, you might 
have what's called OHIP which I'm not really familiar with so you might have to do your own research if you have to update your information after you graduate as a student um, but basically here in BC if you live here that's what you have to do so okay so before I end this video um, please look out for my two video tutorials on regarding um, how to apply for your like how to update your SIN number and also how to apply for your TRV but if you could do it yourself good that's good but everything will be linked down in the description box below again it's very easy don't worry about it everything should be on the website uh, yeah don't worry about it and so as soon as you receive your PJWP make sure to do all of these things or also if you have to update your addresses because like usually a lot of international students after they graduated um, they would move out of the city or like they would move to another place because of their new job so make sure to update your address as well um, but yeah that's just like the last tip that I have um, but yeah thank you for watching that's just it for this video I hope you guys find this very helpful and if you guys haven't please follow my Instagram at clearcartago also I have a Facebook page at with love glare and i'll see you guys on my next one bye